Anthony here. I'm stuck here doing this goddamn work thing. But when I get home, I'm gonna try a beer. What am I gonna try? Look up in the title. It's right there. That's why I put it there. Unless you can't read, then I guess you're just fucked or you're just gonna have to watch and find out. Welcome to Beer Critic. Today on Beer Critic, we're taking our first journey south of the border. We're trying Bordello Especial. My first, I've never really been, never really tried Mexican beer, so we'll see how it is. Might be all right. As I said before, I rather enjoy Corona and or Corona White. Just trade me. Nah, I got it. The cool thing with these is it comes in this foil wrap top and these neat little bottles. I mean, look at it. That's that's a cool looking bottle. Uh, it's water over the wine and stuff. Hmm. Let's give her a pour and see what uh, see what she looks like. Very, very pale. Very pale lager. Very, very light beer, but with what's told me about who manufactures it. Well, it's, it's still made in Mexico, but the parent company that owns the corp, the um, whatever company is, the um, Anheuser-Busch company. Don't get a lot of head. In life as it is in beer. Don't get a lot of head and doesn't seem to be a whole lot of carbonation. Which I actually like because the carbonation in this seems to be more of the natural beer carbonation rather than them adding yeah. CO2 yeah. the same way they do soda pop. Has a ridiculous PBR smell to it. I admit, <laughs> blind sniff test, you could not tell the difference between this and PBR. It, it really does. It does kind of smell like PBR. <laughs> but as far as taste goes, it has its your, your hop bitterness at the front, but it goes away and it's a very, a very mellow and just smooth beer. It's a good beer. It reminds me a lot of Corona. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing. No, not at all. But with it not having a lot of carbonation, this could get you in trouble. This is a um, this is a beer you could slam. This is a, it's a drink fast. Especially with the flavor of it, it does have a good flavor to it, but it goes away very, very quickly. Yeah, it's a bit watery towards the end. This is the type of beer that you can sit down and start drinking and not realize anything close to how many you drank. Yeah. Until you try <laughs> to go take a leak and don't have legs. <sighs> I've had that happen. <laughs> Which is precisely why I said it that way. Get a drink and then... I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And you stand up. You're not fine. <laughs> Your ass hits the ground. Remember, it's not the fall that hurts. It's the sudden stop at the end. I ain't no shit. Yeah, this is a good beer.
I mean, it's it's definitely good enough to drink. It's oh, not yeah. something I'd write home about. No, this is for for a beer that's so widely advertised and it's the second best Mexican import in America. The second best like, seller. best selling. I it's a little underwhelming. It really is, but if if that's what was there to drink, I would drink it. Uh, yeah, I definitely would not turn this down by any means. I mean, this would be far ahead of anything else produced by Anheuser Busch, other than Corona, apparently. <laughs> that I would actually order at a bar. Still can't believe Corona is owned by fucking Anheuser Busch. Well, they they buy every fucking thing. Go, go think you're getting some little microbrewery shit and it's owned by fucking Anheuser Bush. X. Well, that, well, while the Bex was a disappointment though, this one, like I said, it's, it's underwhelming, but it's still good. I was, I, I like it. I would, I would probably buy it again. Yeah, and, you know. If we'd have bought the six pack of bags rather than doing that build your own six pack thing at the local grocery store and only getting two, the other four bags would still be sitting in the fucking fridge. Oh yeah, we'd have we'd give them the fuckers away. Exactly. This six pack, we're gonna drink before we go to bed. We're gonna finish this six pack on camera. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it is that good, I mean. It's still not hams, it's still not PBR, but it's still good. My only worry is that it says on the bottle it is brewed in Mexico. We get the we get the rabid shits, we'll let you know. Yeah. Cause it Mexico's water has a reputation, we well, should say, that you shouldn't drink it. Unless you're used to it. Hell, even if you are used to it, you probably shouldn't drink it. Hopefully they filter this. A lot. A lot. We'll see. If we get if we get the beer shits, we'll, we'll let you know. much to say about it. It's good. It, it's not great. I mean... No, it's not it, great. It's, it's middle of the road. No. Yeah. I can't say really much good about it, but I can't say much bad about it either. I mean, the bottle's about the coolest thing about the beer. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a good bottle, though. I like the bottle. <coughs> but um like I said about the head I mean I just poured this and this is this is all the head to give that's that's not much head that's not much head at all that makes me want to make a really 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 racist sex joke <sighs> that's not <laughs> I'm not going to <laughs> I wouldn't have announced it if I was planning on it. You never know. I realize I can't make jokes like that now because you'll fucking edit them out. Yeah. Let's not get kicked off YouTube yet. Fuck them. said was the generalized uniform of a Soviet terrorist group actively working in this country made them look like they'd seen a couple up close. 
I think that's about the most politically correct way I can ever say that. Yeah, since you've got both your engines up there. <laughs> and we did have the first two beers out of the six pack with dinner earlier. Yeah, we had, we had to. I picked it up after work. We had to give it a try, you know. You can't have homemade chicken, bacon, ranch pizza without a beer. You can't do it. And it was goddamn great. <laughs> Fuck yes, it was. Fat boys can cook, goddammit. Yeah, pouring straight down the mug, not even hitting the wall. I can still put the whole bottle in my mug without having to worry about the head at all. <clears throat> but it's a nice thick foamy head it's not that thin Dr. Pepper looking head you get from most of shit in the US yeah I just can't get over how much this smells like PBR <laughs> I mean it is ridiculous it doesn't taste the same, not by any means, no. but the smell, just the smell. If I was blindfolded, I do not think I could tell the difference. Right. I swear, this is PBR. You'd be like, no, sir, this is not PBR. Which is strange, considering the only other Mexican import I really have much... Oh, I don't even know how to say it. Experience with Corona has so much carbonation. It is so hard to pour in a cup or anything else without having to stop and let the head dissipate. But I can... This, I would, this is kind of a barbecue beer. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. This is definitely a lot lighter than Corona. Corona sits on my stomach heavy. Yeah. And does not taste nearly as good the second time around. <laughs> Don't get does anything. New Year's Eve 2010. And nothing tastes good a second. I'm sure if you throw up pussy, it wouldn't taste as good. I carried around two cases of Corona. I was halfway into the second case when disaster struck. Oh hell. Did we exorcist? Oh, it was bad. 
it was projectile. Luckily, I was outside. <laughs> God. I hit my truck from like six, seven foot away. <laughs> and then after I was done, I felt so shitty that I crawled in the bed of my own pickup and asked my girlfriend to take me home. We lived together at the time. And then I woke up the next morning still in the truck. Apparently I passed out somewhere between where we were and home. Which was <coughs> 350 yards. God. <laughs> At least my girlfriend was cool enough to pack me in blankets and shit before she left me out there, but it snowed and I woke up cold as fuck. <laughs> you know, of all the drinking I did back when I was younger, the only real pass out, blackout, dumb story I have is my 21st birthday. I got up that morning, went to the grocery store, some reason decided I wanted a bottle of Boone's Farm. Ugh. So I sat in my apartment and I drank this bottle of Boone's Farm. Didn't feel shit. I said, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for the gusto. I went out and got a bottle of Evan Williams. Which I brought home and drank. And then... I had some friends stop by and got there talking to them and all of a sudden they were fixing to leave and I got my hand slammed in the door. And then I, I sat down on the grass thinking I was just sitting down for a minute. And I wake up and they're gone. I, I passed out in the front yard. Yes, I passed out on the lawn in my, on my 21st birthday. My 21st birthday sucked. You were there. Oh yeah, that was... That was I wild. had like two or three beers in this crazy bitch I was with at the time. od on my doll. You had to take her to the fucking hospital. I was already drunk by the time <laughs> I got home. They went out to eat dinner and there was a bottle of vanilla vodka and a gallon of red diamond sweet tea. You wouldn't think would make a good combination, but it fucking does. Yeah, he drank my whole fucking bottle of vodka because he's a dick. <laughs> so I was <laughs> fucked up by the time they got home. Oh, I was drunk. I normally don't do vodka, but unless it's like a screwdriver or something, but that's all we really had at that point. I don't think we even had beer in the fridge. That's all I really drank. And we had vodka. <laughs> it was there. I was thirsty. I was bored. It worked. <laughs> Boredom and alcohol together are very, very good thing. No, yeah. drinking when you're bored is horrible, horrible idea. Don't ever do that. And Which is why we drank 90% of what we drank throughout our life. Yeah, because, well, you grew up in an area like this, there's really not a lot to do. <laughs> Give you a little backstory myself. My graduating class was less than 20 people. I had, a few, I had more than that, but not a lot. My freshman year, I was in Kansas, and there was 3,800 in the freshman class alone. <laughs> then my sophomore year, I was in Missouri in a class of less than 20. It was definitely a culture shock there, wasn't it? Fuck. And out of the, like, six girls that were in my graduating class, I think one of them wasn't either pregnant or didn't already have a kid. Once again, nothing to do. All there was to do was fight, drunk, and, fight drink, and screw. 
in the town I grew up in from sophomore year on. Yeah, pretty much. Was never any good with girls. And promised my mother I'd quit fighting. So, <laughs> I drank and worked on cars. See, I never really partied in high school. Because I, um, I went to school, I worked. That's a, That was about it. Kind of, kind of like I do now. No, I just don't go to school. I just go to work and sit around the house. Still not great with girls. <laughs> Me either. I got beer. Well, I do have a girlfriend, but she's currently withheld elsewhere. If anyone, if anybody was wondering where we got our mugs, 98 cents at Walmart. Yeah, fucking A. Good glass, thick motherfuckers. Little less than a buck a piece. Keep them in the freezer, too. <laughs> Nothing like a beer and a frosted mug. Damn straight. <sighs> well, am I anything in closing to say? Mexico? Not too bad. This one's not too bad. I like this one. When I plan on getting into a few more Mexican beers and see what else out there. I've heard um, Empress's <coughs> Corona and Dos Equis and I really want to try Dos Dos Equis. I'd like to try that one. Um, I've heard Victoria's good. There's several, several that we need to try. But um. In one of these days, I'm going to find tequila with a worm in it and get this bitch to try it with me. Tequila's evil. <laughs> tequila is fucking evil. It is. <coughs> That's why I don't allow 1800 in the house anymore. <coughs> <laughs> me, like... and, me and 1800 mix way too well until I can't remember what the fuck is going on. <coughs> <laughs> well, just every time I drink tequila, something bad happens. <laughs> Not even to me, just... First time I got drunk on tequila, and my little brother got into a car accident. I got woke up hungover as shit by my um, dad and his wife at the time. Bang, 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 bang. Like, come to the fuck you want. <laughs> Oh, your brother was in an accident down in Arkansas. Fuck. <laughs> you guys have heard me say it more than once. There was tequila involved. Get off me. That's why tequila is evil. Mm. <laughs> Vodka is too. But that's something else I plan on trying on this channel. <sighs> well, maybe video. not this channel, but... I plan on doing a liquor tasting channel as well. Pretty much any hard liquor is just... It's just not good for you. It's really not. I mean, There's no reason for it other than to get really fucked up really quick to do really stupid shit. Yeah. Which I'm sadly okay with. <laughs> well, in closing... Modelo Especial. Not too bad. Give her a shot. Yeah, uh, it's it's worth a shot. It's middle of the road at best. But eh. it's it's not bad. We we agreed that we weren't going to put a number scale like a one to ten or anything like that on beers in this channel. Mm. This isn't as good as the, uh, uh, what the fuck was the brand? Brown Ale. Uh, the, um, Newcastle. It's not nearly as good as Newcastle. Then again, what, what is? But it's 
eons above fucking sex. <laughs> this guy, he says he doesn't like wheat beer. I'm gonna get him to try some and see if I can change his mind. Cause I I love wheat beer. It is awesome. <laughs> Honestly, the only wheat beers I've ever tried are the ones that have the shit in them. Yeah. It's just like orange juice. If you have orange juice with pulp in it, fuck you. I'm trying to drink <laughs> something, not eat something. If I have to chew while I'm trying to drink something, fuck you. I've never come across any that you actually have to chew. That's what people say about pulp and orange juice, but it chokes the fuck out of me. <laughs> We'll, we'll give some a shot. We'll, I'm going in the morning to the grocery store and do another make your own six pack. We'll see what we can do. R, you and beer run. That's right. <laughs> Early morning beer run, so they'll probably look at me like I'm fucking alcoholic, but fuck them. That's also the place that has the little one shot bottles of like 50 different types of liquor. They have a whole fucking island of them. It just two, two islands. Yeah. They have two four by four <laughs> foot islands of nothing but the little airplane bottles. I want to get two of everything they have and put together a mystery box. <laughs> just a black box with a hole in the lid that you got to dig in and drink whatever you get out. <sighs> Kill me. Fuck yeah. Seriously. In the comments, put whether you think it's a good idea or not, so I can shut him up and get him to agree to it. <laughs> oh. Ain't peer pressure a bitch? <laughs> My mother warned me about people like you. <laughs> I, I can't disagree. <laughs> We're done with Special. Give her a shot. She's not bad. Not great, but not bad. I'd buy it again. If, yeah. if I didn't recognize anything on a on the beer menu at a bar, I would definitely order this before I ordered something I didn't. Or if you're in a Mexican restaurant, <sighs> that would go good. <clears throat> And honestly, like we discussed earlier, a pinch of salt and a little bit of lime, this would be fucking spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, I should have picked up a lime and... We have salt. We should have fucking... We need to get a little bottle of lime juice. Might have to pick some of that up, too. <laughs> Shit lasts for fucking ever. Just a little green plastic bottle. Yeah. yeah. Anyway... It's a good middle of the road. There's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing to write home about, but it won't make you vomit. Which is important. Uh, uh, realistically, on the beer menu at most bars, what the fuck more could you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> Proof that Anheuser-Busch doesn't immediately fuck everything they touch. That's because it's still made in Mexico. They haven't got their hands on that yet. It's not they haven't brought it to America and go, we're just going to make it here. Yeah, they haven't bent it over and gave it the riot act yet. Right. I respect Anheuser-Busch as a company, but... Fuck them. Their product is just... It's lacking. They have found a way to fuck it up and keep continuing to do so. If you want to drink rice, bite the bullet and drink sake. Oh, let me send that pussy shit over here. Uh -uh. Better than Anheuser Busch, it's made from the same shit. Fucking Japanese shit. Anyway, <laughs> good middle of the road, give her a shot. Nothing else really to say? No, not really. Give her a shot. It's Modelo. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink if you're underage. And if you do drink and drive, you're dumb enough to vote for Hillary. <laughs> Hopefully the bitch don't run in 2020, because... 
Oh, I hate to see what the fuck that would be like. It's bad enough now. At least we got somebody in the White House that's not actively trying to destroy the country. True. True. We dealt with eight years of that. It's going to take a minute to get things straight again. <coughs> Anyways, have a good night, everyone. Cheers. Talk to y'all later. Rock on, motherfuckers. Fuck yeah.